Welcome back to the series on the channel titled simply Best Spiral Abyss Teams, where I break down and provide a detailed yet concise guide to one among the diverse plethora of remarkable team comps in Genshin Impact. The last two episodes were very well received, and this is your long-awaited third episode. If you like today's content, please consider dropping a like and subscribe, as I will be doing many, many more of these guys in the future. The team in question today consists of Xiao, Faruzan, Farina, and the new Bilf on the block, Tianyun, B as in bird. Xiao has really come a long way since his initial release in 1.3, as of February 2024. It's very possible that he has the single most complete and synergistic team, centering a specific on-field carry in the entire game. From generating copious amounts of animal energy, to eliminating circle impact, to providing some grouping, to literally tripling his damage, Farzan and Tianyun are unequivocally tailor-made specifically to address all of Xiao's issues and to bring out his absolute peak potential. Tianyun also happens to perfectly enable Farina, who is frankly the best character or at least best support in the game, to be seamlessly slotted into this team as well. It would take yet another C6 Farzan level or C6 Chevrolet level dedicated support to upgrade this team even further, which I don't envision happening anytime soon. Aight, enough yapping. This is exactly how you build and play this beautifully crafted team made possible by that one hardcore Xiao main that we all know is infiltrating the Hoyoverse design team. 4-piece Mario Shosei Hunter is Xiao's best in slot in this team period, pretty much. The massive crit rate boost scales beautifully with Tianyun's buffs in ways that other sets that give attack, for example, simply don't. I hope it doesn't take Einstein to figure this shit out, but please bury the thought of using Vermilion unless you already have a good set and Optimizer still tells you to. Otherwise, farming Vermilion becomes like burning resin and strongbox fodder. Marshose is not just massively more resin efficient, it's also just better. It's the only recommendable 4-piece set for new Xiao players, or players looking to upgrade from 2-piece 2-piece at this point. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you don't really need energy recharge on Xiao anymore since you're playing him with two prolific animal batteries. There's also so many ways to front load particle generation in this team that it wouldn't be too problematic even if you don't begin a chamber with full energy. You can choose to build 120-ish energy recharge just to curb your paranoia, or if your Farzan isn't C6 yet, in which case, I'm sorry. As for weapons, it's worth mentioning that Staff of Homa is now just better than Jade Spear thanks to its big crit damage stick that just scale better with the new buffs. If you're looking to pull a good 5-star weapon for Xiao, I suggest waiting for Homa or an even better weapon than to dump pulls on Jade Spear right now. All other weapon options remain more or less the same than before. Uh, although Favonius is a little bit worse because you just don't need as much energy anymore. 4-piece Tenacity Build as much ER as possible on a Fav Bow or Elegy for the end. If you're cocky, you can try to build her for more damage and less ER on a high base attack bow like Skyward Harp since the energy economy in this team is so great. That said, she doesn't do that much damage anyway even if you build her for it, and her A4 is dog shit, but building her for base attack doesn't do much either. I recommend just building her full ER anyway to improve your gameplay experience. Standard 4-piece golden troop build for personal damage. Signature Sword, Festering Desire, some other 5-star weapon, Favonius, Pipe Sword, same old, same old. Try 180 to 200 energy recharge and adjust from there. Just use no blast, bro. Go steal some of Shenhe's pieces, or if you don't have Shenhe, dump some trash in the strong box. Song of Days Past is pretty similar in strength, but it requires you to also need a Navia set for it to be a real option to begin with, because otherwise no one should and probably has farmed for it. Look for triple attack main stats and as much recharge as you, as you possibly can find on the substats. Again, the energy economy in this team is pretty good, but this character doesn't do damage anyway in this role even if you try to build her for it, so I would just build more ER. As for weapon options, Xianyun's signature is pretty hot, just like its wielder, but Ultra 9 is a fantastic second choice. Can't believe a 2.5 free to play event weapon is now useful, huh? If you have the ER, something like Skyward Atlas also works pretty well. DDS is also technically very good. It absolutely hurts the conscience and hurts the soul to put a 3-star HP weapon with 401 base attack on an attack scaling character that looks as good as Xianyun herself. It hurts me at least. That's all you <laughs> That's all for how you build the team, and this is how you play it. One great aspect about characters with long field time is that their rotations tend to be pretty brain dead to execute, and Xiao is no exception, he was the OG in fact. You basically cast all of your support abilities roughly in descending order of duration, 
and then um, go lament to your heart's content on the vertically diminished General Aladdis himself. This is a sample rotation that you can follow. You cast Farzan's burst first, and then do your skills on Farina and Xianyun. Make sure you burst on Xianyun after Farina to get the initial fanfare front load. And then you switch to Xiao and then do EQ, and then spam 10 to 12 plunges depending on your mood. Pro tip! You can use a normal attack after each plunge to cancel the end leg of each plunge animation and add a small amount of extra damage. You can also try to stand close to your target to bunk them for an extra instance of collision damage on your plunges for more extra damage. Let's find out how we can further improve this team. If your Farzan is in C6, my condolences, but that is the single biggest buff you can give to this team. After that, Tianyun C2 is very impactful as it doubles her plunge steroid, turning it from just test to test, trend, and a side of EQ. <laughs> Thanks for the terrible drop rates of specific 4 stars, you may or may not have gotten it already, along with Farzan C6 on the recent banner. If you have, congratulations, or sorry, depending, I don't know. And of course, Farina herself has an entire suite of stacked constellations, out of which C1 and C3 are the most notable here. Xiao can certainly use a good 5-star weapon for himself, the best of which being Staff of Homa right now. However, Homa's passive doesn't even fully activate in this team, and it's still better than Jade Spear. Um, I would expect a better weapon to come at some point, either in a couple months or in a couple years. Other things like more 5-star weapons for the team, further constellations, or even weapon refinements are all out there, but they are beyond the scope of this guide and what I'm personally interested in recommending. So how good is this team overall? Very, in my opinion. Otherwise, I wouldn't be covering it in this series. This team performs consistently well against any Abyss layout or content type, whether it's single target, AoE, bosses, mobbing, whatever, and also has no significant gameplay drawbacks, assuming you like playing Xiao to begin with. It offers great energy economy, a strong healer, some grouping, and near limitless mobility thanks to the lack of a Bennett Circle. It is at minimum decently competitive against the best in the game, whatever you think that is, on a spreadsheet, and is quite consistent in converting theoretical damage into practice. The one obvious drawback of this team is that it is relatively primo gem intensive to get going, as it requires a specific C6 4 star and 3 limited 5 stars. Fortunately, Farazan is no longer locked in the Wanderer banner, and the recent banner with her and Sanyun together was absolutely tremendously helpful, and no doubt saved many of you hundreds of wishes worth of pain and suffering. Obviously, this team uses Farina, which means you can't play another Farina team simultaneously with this in the Abyss. However, Farina is ironically also the most replaceable unit between her, Sanyun, and Farazan. You can expect fine results slotting in Zhongli, Yelan, c Jean, or even Bennett instead of Farina if she is taken. That is all for today. Enjoy your time expressing sorrow with this team. Get it? Because expressing sorrow is lament. That's what it means. See ya!